Welcome everyone uh, to this webinar. Good afternoon, first of all. Welcome, greetings from NISM. Um, I'm very happy and would like to extend a warm welcome to each and everyone joining us in this webinar today of PGPISM, that is Postgraduate uh, Program in Investment and Securities Market. Today marks the beginning of an insightful journey as we dwell into the PGPISM course. Over the next hour, we will explore about the program, its prospects, and its intricacies. Let me share the PPT that we have here with us. So, as we speak about NISM, NISM is a public trust established by SEBI in the year 2006. It is, the campus is at the Patal Ganga, which is near Mumbai Pune Express Highway and it has the state-of-art campus. As we move to our panelists, we have two eminent panelists with us today, and it gives me an immense pleasure to welcome both of them. Uh, our first panelist, Dr. Rachna Bed, is a professor and dean academics at NISM. She has been teaching, consulting, and training uh, in financial markets since 1996. She has taught at Accelerai Jamshedpur, SPJN School of Global Management, over a decade, she has been associated with consultancy assignments for clients in public sector and private sector. Our second panelist, Mr. Bihar Lal Deora, is a currently director at Abakuks Invest. He's a subject matter expert across range of tax, accounting, pension, risk management, capital market policies, and has delivered programs and training sessions as a visiting faculty member at NISM. He is a rank holder, chartered accountant, CFA chartered holder, and also has many other professional certificates. With this few words, I would like to welcome both our panelists. Thank you so much, Tyson. Very good afternoon to all of you. Before we go any further, I do read some comments given by you all that some of you were not able to download the PDF, which were posted by... by uh, Tyson, do not worry, we will keep posting the PDF and in case you are still not able to download it from the chat box, uh, just write down your email ID, we will mail it to you. Hence, do not worry with regard to any of the content which we are posting throughout the session. In case you are not able to download it, we will be able to mail it to you after the session. All right, Tyson, I suggest once more you uh, post the prospectus and the PDF. In, uh, in case some people have joined in late, they will be able to uh, receive it. Sure, ma'am. We'll do it. All right. I also heard uh, some, uh, I read some comments that some of the participants were not able to hear us uh, clearly. So I would like to confirm from uh, you all whether I am clearly audible. Tyson, I'm clearly yes, audible to you. Yes, ma'am. You are clearly audible. All right. So uh, before we go further and uh, discuss about the program, its contours, the curriculum, pedagogy, etc., I would like you all to know that uh, NISM is committed to create a cadre of securities market professionals. In the securities market industry, there is a huge demand for skilled professionals. In fact, when we interact with our uh, mar uh, with market participants, they uh, more often than not uh, express that there is uh, a dearth which they face about the skilled professionals in the market. So keeping that in mind, we have created this one-year program. The design of the program, the curriculum of the program is uh, uh, in collaboration with the market participant. In fact, they would also be uh, helping us out in the delivery of the program. So uh, before I go further about the program, I would like you all to hear from a practitioner's point of view. Uh, we have with us an eminent uh, uh, professional from the industry, Mr. Bihari Lal Devra. Let us hear from him the opportunity set, the kinds of opportunities which are available in securities market. Uh, over to you, BD. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Rachna. Thank you, Tyson, for inviting me to the webinar. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning uh, to all our attendees, depending on which part of the globe you are joining this session from. Uh, 
you already taken the first step in you know learning more about how to kind of change your career path from that perspective few statistics i would give uh, there are about 32 to 35000 intermediaries which are registered by sebi uh, there is no official number available with respect to how many people they employ but on an average about 3 lakh people give nism certificates each year which would roughly mean that the demand is close to about 2 to 3 lakh people a year there are variety of articles you will find that even during covid the only industry which was constantly working uh, without any uh, shutdown was bfsi industry uh, i will involve i mean i'll call bfsi industry as a whole largely because capital market banking and financial industries come together uh, and large part of growth if you see in march 23 march 22 the industry would have grown close to about you know 30 35% in terms of new people hiring you know uh, recently we were reading an article where one of the leading banks leading private banks that they themselves are going to hire close to about 12 to 15000 people a year now even if you extrapolate to top 5 top 10 banks you are looking at about 1 lakh 2 lakh people getting hired each year in terms of intermediaries now financial market per se is very broad uh the challenges which we face which as an employer uh, are largely that you have people who are maybe graduate post graduate from variety of streams could be finance could be uh, you know commerce could be science some or the other thing but they and they want to work in securities market but there is usually a gap which is out there uh, in terms of knowledge of how market performs in terms of some practicalities in terms of understanding the lingo uh, and the profiles along with you know code of conduct and ethics which comes along with it and that gap for us as an employer is very hard to fill right so usually we look for programs or we look for people who have sort of you know uh, completed some of these specialized programs which kind of you know fills those gap right um, industry doesn't look for generalist industry specifically looks for specialist right and because you wanted to you obviously are trying to work in securities market we look for people who have that understanding of security market now giving you a broad perspective on what all career opportunities are there in securities market these opportunities are available to you as an entrepreneur as well as well as these are uh, available to you uh, uh, you know if you want to sort of build your career around it right uh, within uh, you know capital market and these are very broad range things you know you can look at research uh, sebi has a specific intermediary called research analyst typically you know most people whom you watch on tv which is cnbc or newspaper which keep on talking about buy this security sell this security overweight underweight these people essentially work for sell side firms they are essentially you know a research analyst or a registered research analyst who are giving them uh, giving their clients uh, you know the research with respect to sectors or stock indices now if you want to make a career in this obviously apart from the registration or working in a brokerage firm you would need uh, you know a deep understanding of fundamental Uh, analysis on how to do excel modeling how to sort of you know uh, write research reports understand nuances or otherwise similar uh, role is available also on the buy side of the firms buy side would essentially mean that clients um, you know uh, people like mutual funds insurance companies portfolio managers alternate investment funds who manage money on behalf of those clients and they have to constantly sort of you know juggle between uh, what to buy what to sell and an in depth research is required Uh, so a lot of an opportunity and this is kind of you know what we call the front office as we call it uh, a lot of these things would require you specialization within finance along with the security market specialization the second kind of upcoming and growing field in india is investment advisory you would have heard multiple articles that there are a handful of investment advisors uh, in india or the number of hnis is growing up multifold you know every year you have new wealth management firms which are coming in largely because we as a country you know a close to 1.4 billion people and as we grow from you know 5 trillion 4 trillion dollar economy to 10 trillion over next 10 years you know the per capita income for people will increase and more and more people will require access to financial services you would have already uh, you know noted the statistics saying that the number of demat accounts have gone from some 4 5 crores to some you know 10 to 12 crores you would have seen the number of investors in mutual funds have gone from 1 crore to about 4 4.5 or 5 crore uh, you know people out there as the india grows with respect to people having access to you know basic financial products there will be a need of people who can help them with respect to advisory and that's the opportunity available in investment advisory over the next 5 10 years you will find plethora of firms you know either catering to uh, some of these clients as wealth manager or sort of you know having their own advisory firms which which will come uh, come through those india as a hub will grow 
and so will its people and these people will need qualified advisors and and that's what will uh, you know come through uh, you know through some of these programs the third aspect is where you have custody of money so the first two roles i talked about the research and investment advisory there you don't take money in your own uh, you know banks you simply give advice or simply manage it uh, at a client end at portfolio management level typically whether it's a mutual fund structure or a portfolio management service or a alternate investment fund you will ask client to deposit money in the said mf or an ai for a pms account and from there you will essentially take the investment decision so for example tomorrow you have to subscribe you know 1 crore rupees in a particular mutual fund or a pms or an ai you going to give a check of that money to that particular uh, fund account and they will manage the money on uh, on your behalf uh, in your account or in 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 the mutual fund account from that perspective and what you will get is a nav or you know end of day uh, statement which talks about what you are doing now portfolio management essentially is a growing field i mean indian uh, you would have recently heard the news uh, the what mp uh, released that the mutual fund aum has grown to almost 50 lakh crores right with almost 20000 uh, crores which is 2 billion dollars of 2 to 1/2 billion dollars of sip which is covering every month right last entire year the fpis and fdis the fpis have essentially sold the indian market but the domestic institution and the retail investors have been buying <clears throat> indian market and that's the power of you know the money compounding which is happening in india uh, on top of that 50 lakh crore if you add insurance that's maybe another roughly similar size PMS would be roughly about 20 25 lakh crore AIF again similar size of about 10 12 lakh crore as more and more these industries grow up our you know size of asset management industry will grow globally if you see asset management industry is usually you know between 10 and 30% of uh, you know the gdp size right now our gdp is roughly about you know 3 and a half 4 trillion and our size is very very low compared to what uh, global standards are as the size of gdp increases the portfolio management or the asset management you know options would increase and that will essentially not only have the growth within the industry but also increase the pie itself right so you will find two level effects you will you will see the pie also increase and you will file uh, the industry also growing from that perspective on an average these industries the mutual fund pms and aif are doubling every 5 years right aif has doubled in uh, you know less than 5 years but other industries are doubling every 5 years and they are following the economy as the economy grows faster these industries will grow much faster than that apart from managing security these days sebi has also given multiple other formats where you can ma- manage real assets right so you would have heard of reits uh, which is real estate investment trust you have invits which is investment infrastructure uh, uh, trust uh, and recently there was a micro reit which is allowed by sebi where you can invest as low as 10 lakh rupees now real estate is a big asset class in india as you are already aware infrastructure is a big asset class we keep on building bridges metros toll roads and as those uh, infrastructure sort of gets built you will have opportunity to sort of manage these infrastructures in terms of structuring them into a vehicle and offering that as a fractional ownership to investors so investors who are looking for longer term income investors who are looking for less volatility or a fixed income kind of income essentially will look for uh, reit invit kind of structure the industry is fairly nascent in india but the kind of infrastructure india is creating is humongous and that would require some of these capital market structures to uh, follow or allow you know retail participation a lot of what you heard in the first four categories also require intermediaries to support them and these intermediaries are nothing but brokers we have close to about 5000 odd brokers and maybe each uh, you know broker would have at least 10 to 20 sub brokers or as we call it authorized person these authorized person and the brokers you know allow you to buy securities on exchange whether it is equity whether it is debt whether it is commodities whether it is interest rate and i'm sure uh, many other commodities will get added fairly soon uh, these broking communities also obviously uh, do a bit of market making in terms of identifying what to buy what to sell uh, along with providing research from that standpoint so you have <clears throat> broking which helps you with the transaction then you have other agencies like credit rating agencies or proxy advisory which give you research with respect to you know uh, credit quality of the company so whenever you know companies are issuing debt for that matter you know as you call bonds or debentures they would need credit ratings of those companies and then these credit rating companies have large amount of people sitting across india to sort of you know cater to not just listed entities but also 
unlisted entities, you know, SMEs, which are sort of getting into uh, this uh, paradigm uh, over here. I talked about wealth management. Now, what I talked about in the investment advisory side is, you know, purely on the advisory side. What I'm talking on wealth management side is more on the distribution side. Most of these financial products require an intermediary to sort of reach out to client or to connect with the client or to map uh, client with them, right? These intermediaries not only uh, try to reach out to the end client with respect to the diverse, you know, geographic uh, spread which we have. It is not possible for, you know, intermediaries like us to have offices in each and every part of country. And then we use what we call as, you know, some of these uh, distributors, which essentially reach out to uh, some of these clients for, uh, you know, selling this uh, product. Now, these uh, distributors in, ten, in turn get what is called as a distribution commission. Uh, and then with the kind of growth Indian market is seeing, the number of distributors are multiplying, you know, almost, uh, you know, multiple times. The common challenge with these distributors is they don't have background into, uh, you know, securities market and in respect to how each product is differentiated from the other. So in order for them to efficiently sort of, you know, uh, give a recommendation to their client, they would need to understand what is required and what is not required. Apart from this, obviously, you can diverse, divide the opportunities based on segments. Like you can have same kind of opportunities, equity market, debt market, currency market, derivative market. You can have opportunities based on market infrastructure institution. For example, you have uh, exchanges, you have commodity exchanges, depositories, clearing corporations. You know, you can also have similar kind of opportunities in banking industry. So be it commercial banking, being treasury operations, being uh, treasury management. Advisors, I already told you, and within uh, within mutual funds. Now, large part of what you're looking here is only looking at, uh, you know, research or finance-oriented approach. There is a whole lot of, you know, uh, people who are not doing finance research, research per se, but they are doing overall other functions of, uh, you know, the capital market, be it business development, be it operations, be it risk management, be it securities, be it, uh, you know, compliance. Uh, and those roles also are as important as what, you would find, uh, you know, in a securities market from a value addition perspective. Depending on temperament, depending on your, uh, you know, understanding, you know, things might uh, work for you. But the fundamental knowledge, obviously, is required. Moving on to the next slide, uh, as you will find <clears throat> that typically as employers, we do look for formalized skill sets, right? We do look for specialization. Without specialization, see, understand it from our perspective. There are some three crore people who graduate from India every year. You know, maybe 10% of them are going to post-graduation, maybe doing an MBA or something. But when, when we are looking at uh, people, the classic difference is that we are telling to, you know, academic institutions like NISM saying that, look, we are not getting people. Uh, and at the same time, people are telling, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, us saying that we are not getting jobs. So there has to be some gap somewhere. Now, what is that gap? That gap, I think, is in terms of understanding of what is required. You know, you're back in, you know, 80s when my father, uh, you know, was studying. He was uh, barely, uh, you know, matriculate path and matriculate itself was a big thing at that point in time. Uh, you know, my uncle then eventually did graduation in, you know, somewhere in 89 or something. And he was a big thing in our house saying that he was a graduate. These days, graduate, postgraduate has become the basic necessity. You know, that is not what is required from you. You will especially need some add-on skills with respect to, you know, uh, that particular segment where you want to work it. For us, it's very difficult to sort of prove passion. Everybody we meet will say that I'm passionate about securities market. Well, how do you prove that you are passionate about securities market unless you've done something to show that you are a passionate? So a genuine interest is what we uh, look for within, within the capital market from that perspective. All people which we hire, obviously they have to be have, they have to have individual sort of skill sets with respect to, they should be able to do analysis. They should be able to uh, perform to the task. More importantly, the regulatory landscape is changing every day. You know, we are increasing. We, are, we, we were in T plus two earlier settlement. Now, then we move to T plus one. I think very soon we are moving to T plus zero uh, settlement. With the changing landscape, you need people who can evolve. Who You need people who understand, uh, you know, some of these changes and are ready to take those uh, responsibilities. So without that regulatory, uh, you know, uh, landscape understanding, you probably will not be able to do well in uh, this kind of roles. Soft skills and relationship orientations are required in capital market without a doubt. No matter which job you go, whether you are selling a service, whether you are selling a product, whether you are selling your idea, or whether you are selling raising money from client. At all points in time, there is something which you are servicing to someone else, be it internal, be it uh, external. So relationship orienta orientation is something is kind of which is crucial for uh, this role. And that is why you'll see this role provides, uh, you know, 
a flexibility to people who are individual contributor at the same time flexibility to people who are uh, you know uh, a team team worker you will find people in the job job which are all only internal facing and not external facing and you will find people in the job which are external facing as well right one thing which is very important just like in uh, taxation and another regulation you have every year a budget uh, in our business every year there is a you know there are circulars there are update in regulations and otherwise so continuing education and learning is something which is very important uh, thankfully nism has a host of certificates which are mandatory and you know uh, they are required to be having uh, you know so you have to renew them every 3 years so that kind of helps from that uh, perspective uh, this is my favorite uh, most of you might sort of join finance industry saying that you know you know x y z has got this job in finance industry and you know he is doing so well and why am i not doing well my uh, statement is that so look grass is not greener on the other side of the road grass is greener where you water it so if you invest in yourself you know you will definitely reap the benefits of you know what you have invested in but for that you have to invest in yourself you can't simply be sitting and waiting for opportunity to come to yourself right you have to prepare in advance on what might replace you people are talking about ai people are talking about chat gpt and if you don't uh, you know prepare in advance you know they will replace you so either the choice is yours whether you want to become irreplaceable or whether you want to water the grass or whether you want to wait and watch uh, but you have to prepare ma'am over to you ma'am you are on mute thank you very much bd um for highlighting the opportunities which are available in the various sectors and domains of securities market as you have mentioned there are requirements across various segments which runs into uh, thousands or in many cases uh, more than that uh, and as you have also mentioned the kind of skills which are required by the uh, employers the entities which are wanting to recruit uh, people in securities market keeping uh, those requirements in mind we have designed uh, this particular uh, program so the idea uh, behind designing this program was to impart the relevant uh, skill set which is needed by the industry professionals before i go further on this particular program i have been reading some of the questions where participants are interested in understanding how this program is different from our other programs and certificates i would like all of you to please make a note of uh, it that this particular webinar is for pgp ism program that is post graduate program in investments and securities market it's a one year residential full time program which comes with placement assistance this program is different from a 15 month long weekend program which is also offered by nism that is meant for working professional the pgp pm iara is a 15 month long weekend program for working professionals so those of you who are already working in the securities market industry and are interested in updating your skill set may apply separately for that program if you are interested you can drop in your uh, email id my colleague tyson will send you the details about the program the last date for the application of pgp weekend program is uh, 31st of march so now i move back to pgp ism program this program is uh, intended to prepare a cadre of young professionals uh, in the securities market it's going to be a full time residential program the dates uh, the uh, uh, important dates on the timeline are right there on the uh, on the screen Uh, the last date for the application of this program is may 1st 2024 we will be uh, uh, commencing the interview sometime middle of the april and uh, till the middle of may the interviews will be conducted you will be sent the intimation about the date of the interview well in advance we will be commencing the program on 3rd of june hence some questions pertaining to those who are already uh, those who are uh, pursuing their undergraduation currently whether they will be eligible for this program if you have not completed your undergraduation uh, by the time you are applying for the program you will not be eligible for this program this year you may wait and apply for this program the next year 
I would like to emphasize that this program is meant for young professionals who are wanting to make an entry in securities market. Uh, uh, Tyson, I request you to go to the next slide. So as you can see, I have already mentioned it to you. It's a residential program. It's a compulsorily residential program. It is not offered in hybrid or online mode. Classes are conducted throughout the uh, week. For one full year, your presence will be required at NISM's Patal Ganga campus. It's a state-of-the-art campus. Uh, uh, Tyson has already shared with you the location of the campus. Uh, as you see, the program has uh, three terms plus an industry project term. In the first three terms, uh, various courses are being offered. The courses are designed in such a way that we provide conceptual understanding of the various contours of securities market and then we progress into the advance and application um, uh, related concepts, etc. cetera. Uh, Tyson, please move to the next slide. So here I'm presenting the kinds of the kind of subjects which you will be uh, learning in this particular program. In the first term, there are six subjects. All the code, all the subjects in this program are compulsory subjects. So each subject will be taught to you. For a, um, uh, for a duration of about 45 teaching hours. In class, learning hours are about 45. In addition to that, for every subject, 15 hours of tutorials will be offered to provide extra, um, uh, to provide some extra assistance to those who are entering into the field of finance from background which is not related to accounting, finance, or management. The idea is to encourage participation in this program for from people who are also from non-commerce management or finance field. So all the engineers, law graduates, arts graduates, they can also consider doing this program. We will ensure that we provide a level playing field to all of you in the first term of the program itself. The second term of the program is the advanced term, and you can see the kind of courses which will be offered in the second term. Uh, Tyson, move to the next slide, please. The third term of the program is an application term. All the course, not only the application term courses, even the previous term courses, we are following a pedagogy which is out and out, and out application oriented, case-based, discussion mode, uh, pedagogy. And that is why the, this program of NISM is differentiating itself from the program which may be offered by any other academic institution. First of all, it is a highly specialized program in securities market. There is no parallel anywhere to a program of this nature and intensity. And secondly, the pedagogy which is being offered in this program is highly application oriented. The idea is to create skill-based professionals who are ready to join the industry from day one. The fourth term of the program is the project industry term, wherein candidates may be doing internships or research projects depending upon their area of liking, understanding, and prospective job opportunities. Uh, next uh, slide, Tyson. So in this program, there are certain mandatory certificates which you have to clear. These are the five mandatory certificates. So please note some of you have been writing in the chat box. This is a one-year full-time program. It is different from the various certificates which NISM offers. All right. Many of those certificates are part of our curriculum. These are the mandatory certificates each one of you have to clear before the successful completion of the program. In addition to the mandatory certificates, there are certain optional certificates. Next slide, Tyson. These are the optional certificates which you can pick and choose depending upon the area of specialization and job opportunities would you like, should you like to pursue in securities markets? So uh, 
uh, these are, this is the list of uh, uh, optional certificates. I keep looking at the chat box and I see the questions which are there. Many of these questions are already answered in the FAQ. I suggest all of you to uh, go through the FAQ so that many questions are already answered there. And those questions which are not part of FAQ, we are noting down your questions some of which we will be able to answer in this webinar itself. Other, we will reach to you. We will also update our FAQ in terms of the questions which you are posing. Bidi, would you like to uh, chip in here? Sure. Yeah, please. Sure. So there are a couple of, you know, trends which I saw in the questions and I, I believe they are common question. There are a lot of people who have done their CA or CS or BTEC or LLB and, and they are looking to kind of, you know, look for a program which can help them get into the program. Uh, just as a background, I, you know, started my career as a CA. Uh, you know, uh, you won't believe it, but I usually, I had about 15th rank in CA finals, okay? Uh, and I wasn't able to get a campus placement. Uh, and then I realized that, you know, not that CA is not a good course, it's a great course and it has helped me in my entire life. But what I realized that I was looking, I was coming from an accounting auditing background and trying to get into finance. In India, people have this whole perspective of considering accounting and finance together. Well, accounting is different. Accounting is on that side of the table. Finance is on this side of the table. You know, to give an example, a calculation of ROE is what an accounting guy would do, right? But how to analyze that ROE with respect to DuPont analysis is what a finance guy would do, right? The perspective looks very easy to, you know, say, but it's very difficult. I'm telling you, you have to sort of, you know, do add on something to get into finance, you know, by choice, just because you're done. I mean, you've done your CA, great job. I really appreciate it. But that will not get you into uh, finance. So if you're looking to change in finance, you have to do a specialist course. You can compare, you know, and, and this course, you know, I, you know, the module three is eye opener for me. Uh, if you compare this course with any other course out there, I bet you will not find that much application oriented concept than what you are getting it over here. Right. So if you see the level module one, they are trying to develop on, uh, you know, fundamentals. Level two is kind of more about regulations and other things. And, you know, the third term where it's only completely fundamental based, right? It's only application. So you will, I mean, there are hardly few uh, universities or institutes where you will find a Bloomberg lab, where you will find a mock training. Okay. Uh, and that mock training facility obviously is available at, uh, you know, the campuses at uh, NISM. So if you are already in a different field and looking to do something, yes, this is a, a you know a, something which you have to look at. The other thing uh, I don't know if you noticed through the certification, but you know NISM is offering you almost almost like thousand to twelve hundred hours over the one year. Okay, thousand to twelve hundred hours of teaching, along with staying and you know food and you know all, all other interactions. You know at whatever you know uh, you know I'm sure they are you know not making profits out of it, but you know, thousand hours, if thousand hours cannot change your destiny, then nobody can you change your destiny. And so if you're looking to change something, thousand hours is good enough, you know, and that too structured learning I'm talking about. I'm not even talking about unstructured learning. Unstructured, I'm sure you can do more, but you will need discipline, right? The whole purpose of, you know, having two kinds of program is that there are people who are looking to get into this thing and the people who are already working and looking to shift, right? So like ma'am mentioned, there are, you know, weekend programs which are for, uh, you know, working professionals because obviously they can't devote time, they have an existing family and commitment. And there are these programs which, you know, people, uh, if you want to kind of, you know, jump the gun, they can probably look at it from uh, that standpoint. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vidi. Uh, now I move on to how the delivery of the program will take place. We have an in-house faculty team. Uh, most of my colleagues are uh, doctorates, PhDs in finance, accounting, management, and from relevant field. In addition to the in-house faculty team, we collaborate with market professionals like uh, Mr. Devra himself and many others who uh, come and uh, share their experiences, insights, offer various sessions, sometimes a full, uh, a full or half credit course in the program. So uh, in this program, we have created a very good blend of the conceptual understanding, which would be provided by uh, the in-house faculty team and practical experiences and application, et cetera, coming from the market professionals. 
NISM very closely work with the securities market industry and that is what is the unique advantage of uh, NISM that all our delivery is in hand with industry partners. All right, Tyson to the next year. So there were some queries with regard to the uh, admission process, the eligibility process, uh, eligibility requirement, etc. It is very much part of the prospectus as well as the FAQ. Nonetheless, for your benefit, let me tell this to you that all we are looking for are graduates in any discipline. So there are questions people have done their BCA or they have done their LLB or they have done their engineering or uh, their graduation in any other field. You are most welcome to apply. We are looking for any graduate with a minimum percentage uh, marks of 55% to apply for this program. Alternatively, the candidate has to be a postgraduate from any field. If you are a postgraduate in that situation, there is no minimum marks requirement here. The selection criteria is based on your previous academic record. We will be giving some weightage to your previous academic journey plus your performance during the process of interview. So there would be an interview conducted and uh, evaluating both. We will be considering uh, 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 the selection into this particular program. Next slide, Tyson. Yeah, about the fee. This is the fee. And uh, uh, I must tell this to you here that if, if you look at the payback period, the kind of fee which NISM is charging for one year program, if you consider the payback period, it's going to be definitely less than a few months. Isn't that so, Bidi? Maybe three, four months would be the payback period for the participants uh, if they have taken up this particular program. All right. Uh, next slide, Tyson. So, yeah. So you may reach to um, us uh, for uh, your queries, etc. Uh, the email ID has been given. I suggest you write an email that gives us a time to respond to you uh, uh, precisely and accurately with regard to uh, your question. Alternatively, you can uh, call my colleague uh, Tyson. You can share your query with him and uh, we will be responding to you through email at the earliest uh, possible. Now what we will do is that we'll spend some time on the questions which you have uh, posted on the chat box. They are, they are coming so frequently that it was difficult to keep a track of them. So we'll be spending a couple of time, a uh, couple of minutes in a reading of the questions and whatever are the relevant questions, questions which are not uh, um, um, uh, part of FAQ or questions which are part of FAQ but still very important questions, we will be answering to those questions. So first of all, again, I would like to emphasize that PGP ISM, this one year residential program is for those who would like to make an entry in the securities market. It is designed for young professionals. Not to say that we have any age criteria, people, uh, uh, we do not have an upper age criteria here. However, I must tell you that your cohort would act, uh, would comprise of people who are in their 20s. So majorly, that's the kind of age profile you would be um, uh, having in your uh, class. So that's, that's one kind of question which I was uh, uh, looking at. And then uh, what are the other questions? There are questions pertaining to placements. BD has very elaborately mentioned to you all the opportunities which are available in securities market. Every year, 100,000 over lakh mm -hmm. candidates are being recruited in securities market. NISM very closely work with the securities market entities, uh, MII, stock exchanges and other participants. Our interaction with those Participants and professionals are also with are also due to the various uh, uh, training programs we conduct for them, the certification programs which we offer to them, and unanimously the feedback which come to us is that there, there is a dearth of trained securities market professional. So keeping that uh, gap in mind, we have come up with this program where we would like to provide an out and out application oriented skill-based education to the participant. 
So the requirement is like thousands. And here we are talking about creating a batch of only about 50 to 60. That's going to be the size of the class. All right. So I'm hoping that there would be a queue of participants to recruit our uh, candidates. However, as BD has mentioned, uh, uh, it's the, the kind of candidate which BD would uh, like to, or uh, uh, professionals like BD and uh, firms like his would like to recruit are is, uh, essentially they are looking at two kinds of uh, traits. One, they are looking at the relevant skills which candidate pro, uh, possess with the curriculum which we have designed. We are very hopeful that the requirement of the industry in terms of the required skill set we will be able to provide to our students. The second requirement are certain kinds of attributes like uh, attitude, like resilience, like temperament, like discipline. These are the other attributes which any market professional would be looking at when they are coming to the campus for recruitment. So if you are able to demonstrate your skill set, if uh, before the uh, prospective recruiter, if you are able to demonstrate your attitude, your other aspects of personalities, which the, the prospective employer demands, there should not be, uh, you know, uh, a dearth of opportunities for you. So rather than asking me the question, would there be a placement assurance? Probably you should be giving that assurance to yourself by developing the skill set which is required. Over to you, Bidi. So, a long and a short answer. A short answer, is this a guaranteed placement program? No, there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee in no, there market. is any guarantee, Bidi. Correct. Yes. Second, uh, does your chances of placement goes up if you have a specialized knowledge? Certainly 200%, right? At the end of the day, no, pro no matter which program you do, whether you do a CA, CFA, you know, uh, every professional qualification will always have the same challenge. Saying that, look, you can take horse to the water, but you can't make it drink, right? At the end of the program, if you yourself don't have any projects in hand, or if you have not done internship, or you're not done kind of, you know, whatever work is required to be done, then you can't kind of, you know, come back on, you know, I, I didn't get placed, right? We do look for candidates. Look, your PG is just a filtration criteria. It makes sure that you can appear for an interview. But once you are at the interview, then nobody can help you except yourself, right? You have to kind of, you know, uh, crack in terms of what are you looking to do. The whole idea of the program is that by the end of one year, one year you are crystal clear in terms of what all facets of, you know, capital market are there, where you fit in, where you not fit in. You know, you understand which gaps you have in terms of skill set. Some of them obviously have been filled at, let's say, uh, you know, the program itself. Some of them are not filled at a program, uh, you know, level. Maybe you have to do it otherwise from that perspective. So, for example, let's say tomorrow you want to do algorithmic trading, right? Now, we will tell you what algorithmic trading is and we'll tell you, you know, etc., etc. But we can't teach you Python or we can't teach you C++ or Java or something, right? If you are interested in that, you will have to probably learn that yourself and apply it over here, right? We will give you the tools to sort of make whatever you want. But it's up to you to sort of, you know, uh, design and use those tools to get over there, right? Uh, will NISM provide placement support? 100%. It's in their interest and your interest to sort of, you know, provide those placement support. But can they force the employers to hire you even if you, even if you don't deliver quantity? No, they cannot. And they, can they force you to join even if it's a good company? No, right? So mistakes can happen from all the sides from that perspective. But my perspective is saying that look for program as a stepping stone. Right. Earlier, you know, Mahatma Gandhi said, uh, Mahatma, not Mahatma Gandhi, I think, uh, uh, who said, do or die, you know, karo ya maro. Right. Today, the low slogan is learn or die. Either you learn, either you die. Okay. So you are going to get replaced anyway. Right. Like I said, out of three crore graduate, only 50 people we are looking for. So we are sure that we will get those quality 50 people. It's up to you to decide what you want to do from that perspective. India is getting, India is going double. India grows because of the entrepreneurs, despite the government. Okay. So India is going from 5 trillion to 10 trillion dollar economy. Do you want to be part of this? Yes, you have one year to be part of it. If you don't want to be part of it, okay, thank you. So there are some uh, questions uh, asked pertaining to what would be covered in the curriculum, what not will be covered. So I suggest you all go through our prospectus. All the subjects are listed down there. 
in addition to the subjects, there are the certification uh, certifications which are embedded in the program. So to our mind, a complete understanding of various facets of securities market has been provided, has been, you know, if I could use the word, the faculty here would try to drill into you <laughs> uh, with the help of various subjects, etc. And as Vidi has very rightly pointed out, we can take the horse to the water. Probably water also we are bringing to the campus, but then you have to open your mouth and drink it. We will make it compulsory by making compulsory attendance, etc. that you open your mouth, but how much you gulp is a function of your capacity, ability and enthusiasm. The class timing and all is a full-time residential program throughout the day. Anytime classes can be conducted every single day, six hours of classes minimum will be conducted. So if you are wanting to do anything along with this program, uh, some relevant qualification should you want to pursue like FRM, CFA, we encourage our students. Our syllabus is benchmarked with very closely mapped with some of these professional qualifications. So we would encourage you. But if you are doing something else, you are doing some part-time job or any other course, then I uh, let me be very honest with you. It is going to be very difficult. It's going to be an immensely demanding program. Attendance to the classes would be a must. You would be thoroughly evaluated. All right. However, that should not worry you if you are willing to put in the efforts we are here to handhold you. If you are sincere, you are willing to put in the efforts. We all are here to provide you with the right guidance and uh, encouragement. All right, some more questions. Tyson, have you come across any question which we... Yeah, there are questions pertaining to the recording. Would we be sharing the recording? Yes, you, we will be providing you with the recording, also with the PPT, etc. So you may go through the recording. And after that, again, if there are questions which are not already answered in the prospectus and FAQ, you may write to us. We will be responding to you um, uh, uh, at the earliest. As soon as possible, we will be responding to you. Then there are questions pertaining to the interview. See, what we are looking for are those candidates who we can um, uh, present before our market part partners. As I was mentioning, this program we have designed by taking inputs from prospective employers. They have helped us in designing the program. They would be helping us in uh, delivering the program. They would be coming as visiting faculty, etc. So we would also like to um, uh, present the candidates who are well prepared for employment opportunities. So essentially what we are looking for are people with decent academic background, sincerity, um, uh, those who are willing to uh, learn those kinds of attributes is something we are looking for. Uh, 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 do not have this worry or concern if you do not know anything about securities market as of now no worries at all we will be starting from the scratch as long as you are willing to put in 12 to 14 hours daily on learning what is being taught in class updating uh, 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 learning from your peers, interacting with faculties, as long as you're willing to give those 12, 14 hours on daily basis, no need to worry, you would be able to successfully sail through the program. You have a year experience, two years experience, five years experience, you're most welcome to apply to the program. Yeah, so basic knowledge uh, is not really required. Uh, we will be starting from the basic, but uh, uh, surely those who are starting in this uh, securities market for the first time, may, they may be in the initial months, have to put in a little bit more efforts than others. We would be there to help you out there. The medium of instruction is English. There are some questions pertaining to the language. And uh, you would be evaluated also. All the exams and all will be conducted in English language. As long as you are willing to put in efforts to, you know, um, um, I mean, uh, write your exams and uh, do your assignments and all in English and you think you can comfortably do that, you may please apply for the program. 
This is not an MBA program. This is not equivalent to MBA program. This is not affiliated with AICT. This is not a typical postgraduate academic program. NISM is a capacity building initiative of SEBI. We would like to create a skill-based program. So this is out and out an application program. It's not a typical academic program. This is a residential program. You got to be on the campus. Uh, uh, courses, uh, some questions are there whether classes will be conducted five days, six days. It's possible. Sometimes classes are conducted all, all the seven days. Typically, classes are conducted on five days a week. But depending upon the kind of requirements, depending upon the availability of market experts who come and support us as visiting faculty, uh, there would be weeks where round the clock classes are conducted. You should be prepared to put in that kind of effort. It's a post-graduation level program. And what you would be learning this program, let me assure you, um, uh, typically in a two years program, what one learns, that much is uh, packed in this program. If you are willing to put in effort, pro uh, consider it as saving a huge opportunity cost. What you would be typically learning in a two years program is something you would learn in one year. The fees and all is already breakdown is given in the prospectus. You have to pay in two installments. I request you to go through the prospectus and FAQ back to back. You know, that will definitely help you in making well-informed decision. You may also like to visit NISM website to know more about NISM, also about its other programs. Some of you may be more suited for our uh, uh, weekend kind of program. So you may like to browse through our website for that purpose. For all others, I suggest go through, go through the prospectus. You should be prepared to read in a document which is eight to 10 pages because once you join the program on do daily basis, you would be required to read in 50 to 60 pages. So that, that kind of temperament will definitely help. You are, some of you are asking how we would be picking out the candidates during the selection process. Typically, if I am on an interview panel and if the candidate has not gone through the prospectus, I'm not going to be impressed with that candidate, you know, because that shows that you have not really uh, paid attention to what you are opting for. So go through NISM's website, go through SEBI's website, go through the prospectors. That would be a very good strategy. I should not be sharing with you uh, how do we pick out candidates during the interview process. But then I must tell this to you that that's how typically, you, know, you need to show your preparedness. You want to come and do this program. What is your level of preparedness? All right. So please do that. It's not a weekend program class. It's a full-time residential program. Okay, then, uh, yeah, in spite of all this um, uh, um, uh, clarification, should there still be questions, feel free. Just call up Tyson. Uh, Tyson, towards the end, will tell you the uh, timings during which he would... Uh, prefer to receive a call you can whatsapp him Tyson that should be okay right they can whatsapp yes. him and uh, depending yes. upon your convenience you can respond back and we prefer that you write an email to us we will be responding to you uh, if there are specific queries do not worry we would be there to clarify all your questions and queries BD over to you you would like to add in here so few things I think the the way you have to look at this program is bridging the gap program. Okay, there is there is a difference between employable uh, and you know what you are already are right. The classic difference is that there is something missing which you have not achieved in your current grad, post grad, or which wherever you have done right. Uh, so in order to be where you are and where you want to be, there is a journey which you have to take, and that journey is what I think NISM is offering you in a short span of time with the qualitative sort of, you know, uh, faculty or content which is there. Rest of that is obviously history. As long as you bridge the gap, I don't see a problem in whatever questions you're asking with respect to where you will go and, you know, what my CTC would be and whether I would be able to earn or not. Uh, but you have to understand saying that you have to 
commit that much of time. You know, you can always, you know, do a CFA in three years or, a, you know, some other MBA finance in two years or, you know, some other program or, you know, attend training. But if you want all of that at one place or like a you know, shorter version, uh, you know, this is the place. Like ma'am said, you know, the program is aligned to CFA and FRM curriculum also. So if you are already pursuing it, then it will be, I know, you know, some of the common things you'll learn. If you're not pursuing it and if you intend to pursue, then you will obviously be prepared uh, better from that uh, that standpoint. A uh, couple of years ago, I had met uh, Mr. Ramesh Damani. He's a very large marquee investor. I'm sure all of you uh, know him. Um, and since we were waiting for a panel discussion, I mean, he was obviously waiting for a panel discussion. So I, I happened to sort of be next to him and I asked him, sir, how many hours do you read right now? Like he's such a large investor with so many billions of dollars. So does he still read? You know, does he need to kind of, you know, prepare himself every day? And he said, yeah, I'm on an average. I still read about five to six hours. So, so I was like, why do you need to read five, six hours? You already have so much of money. He said, in order to continue with that money and grow that further, I still need six hours, right? Uh, and here we are just talking about six hours of classes. So don't worry about it. You will be able to do it if you want to sort of grow and get whatever money you're looking for. Yeah. Some questions are pertaining to uh, whether you can pursue PhDs and all. Anaka, I would like you to know that this is not a ICT approved program. All right. So there probably you will have to uh, uh, go for a, a master, which is a master's program, which is recognized by UGC uh, or AICT. Uh, there are questions about uh, PGDM program. NISM has discontinued the two years PGDM uh, program. We would like we would like to now uh, embark this new journey with a skill based program. We would like to prepare our candidates for the various roles and profiles in securities market. Uh, sometimes numbers are not reachable. Do not worry. Write a mail. Mail becomes a record. We will definitely be responding to you. All right. I think majorly these were the questions. How old is the program? This is the first year in the offering. You would be the uh, first batch for the in this particular program. So that is it. Tyson, you think we have missed out something uh, crucial? Nothing, ma'am. We have, we have spoken out fair and wide about it. Yeah, with regard to the uh, placements and all, we, uh, uh, Mr. Devra has very, uh, I mean, broadly given you the... Uh, opportunities which are available. I would also like to share with you that uh, for our ongoing batch of 90 candidates, more than 82 G JDs were floated. So that's the kind of reach NISM has with the securities market industry. We work closely in collaboration with them. And as I, as I have been mentioning to you, this program is designed to keep their needs and requirements uh, they have actually contributed in the design of the curriculum, telling us what exactly they want in the candidates who they would like to recruit later. So I'm hoping that they are waiting to recruit you as long as you are uh, preparing yourself well. All right. So with that, I think we can close. BD, we are good to close. No, we are good. I think just focus on bridging the gap. Rest, I think you will you will sort of, you know, call it as a history. So as long as you focus on skill building, I, I don't see a challenge in whatever you plan to do in your future. Yeah. Just one last question. Probably it has come last, so I must uh, answer it to him. What is the batch size? We are wanting to keep a small batch of about 50 to 60 participants. That is why hurry up and apply soon and prepare well for the interview. All right. Okay. Thank you all very much. Over to you, Tyson. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to express my gratitude and a, a big thanks to our panelists and the 500 plus participants who have joined from world over. I would like to say thanks to them. And most of your questions would be answered in the prospects and the FAQ. If not there, we are ready to help you. Uh, my number is there. You can call me. If I'm not answerable on the call, please WhatsApp me. It is available also on the WhatsApp. You can write, most probably you can write an email also so that we can respond back to that. Uh, okay. With that, with this few words and with this time of yours, we would like to say thank you. 
Thanks for joining me. Bye.